We are back. Okay, so thanks for staying with us. <laughs> Taxes are a necessary part of any functioning society, providing the government with the revenue it needs to fund public services and infrastructure. However, when business face multiple layers of taxation, it can have a significant impact on their operations, growth, and overall economic health. The national tax policy document states that multiple taxations happen when the same individual is subject to taxation by more than one state or local government council in connection or with the same um, duty. Now, small and medium-sized firms produced more than 50% of Nigeria's GDP and accounts for 80% of employment in recent years. Now, according to the Small and Medium Enterprise Development Agency in Nigeria, 80% of SMEs fail before their fifth anniversary in Nigeria, and among the causes of these premature close-ups are problems with taxation, which might range from heavy tax burdens to various taxes. So today we're asking... What is the impact of multiple taxation on businesses? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Send us an SMS or a tap to the rate one eight zero three four six six three. All right, so, I mean, why I said that I was going to come back to taxation with your story, you know, we've said this thing several times. Where we are in a, as a nation, the economy is getting really tighter. I know that for... Any economy to, to boom or for any economy to bounce back, the government has to reach some level of concessions where you say, okay, you know what? If there were import duties, if there were all of these things, right, you know what we can do? Let's reduce those import duties. Because I know that in the end, what causes the hike or the whatever in the prices of things, right, is because these duties, you know, imagine you pay, 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 pay. In the end, it is the end user that mm -hmm. suffers it. Why did we even decide to talk about this story? Someone talk, brought about a report and said that tertiary, I mean, schools were being, yeah. um, were being private schools, private school owners, they were complaining about multiple taxations for their schools. Uti, who is going to be suffering it? Do you understand? It is us that is paying the school fees. I mean, this year, we, they reviewed our school fees for, 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 for our child, right? So there are implications even outside of the businesses because some businesses cannot handle it they have to fold up in the end but you see for me i feel like if a government is sensitive enough to the plight of the people right there are some things you can look away from now look at the the likes of dangote when dangote decided to take on that you remember the entire ugudu mm -hmm. sorry um is it ugudu bagada road all that entire you know he it was dangote that con re reconstructed all that road mm -hmm. of course as Part of his, whatever, um, part of his, would I call it compensation from tax the government? Breaks. Of course, he got tax breaks. If we are looking at really revamping the economy, the government can truly turn a blind eye towards certain kinds of taxation or even still say, you know what, if we were charging 50%, you know, let's reduce it maybe to like 5% so that this thing, there can be a balance. I ran a small business for years. Do you understand? Before handing it over to, you know, someone to take on the business. That particular business, they will come to my store. They will tell me that I should come and pay for a radio license. Because I don't have a radio there. Do you understand? Pay for a radio license. Somebody else will come from this one and tell you to pay this. You know, the only luck I even have is because I'm inside an estate. Mm. The people that are outside of the estate, it is even worse. Like, every day you just come, they bring one bill. Tomorrow they tell you this is another bill. They tell you... So, Different agencies, almost like collecting the same thing from someone. If you check this road transport, you, um, um, commercial road transport buses, it's the same complaint. Yeah. I was listening in on radio one day when they were talking about taxation and how, like, multiple taxations from the stretch, from where they are coming to, you know, those, those guys on the road. Mm. So, in the end, the taxi, um, the bus driver is asking you, please, what do I take home? Mm. And who is suffering it? It is us because now instead of you paying maybe a thousand naira for your trip, you are going to pay maybe like two thousand or three thousand because all that money is what will go back to the coffers. And what even bothers me is the fact that these things are not even documented. So there is no way that this money is being monitored. So somebody is just going there and reaching their pocket. If we had a system 
where I can just go online and say, okay, I'm about to start a small business. Pa, 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 what are the taxes I need to pay? I see the lineup, I pay, I move on. I will be happy. I say, okay, I know where the money is going. But these multiple taxations that even happen, some of them go under the radar. Nobody even sees the money. But people are coming to you to collect taxes. So I don't know. You say we didn't have plenty of things to talk about. <laughs> I've laid the foundation. <laughs> What are yes. your thoughts on it? What would be the end point? <laughs> That's my point. It always comes back that Absolutely. The government should change this, the government should change that. But, I mean, you do... I'm not saying that there isn't validity to what you are saying. Yes, we have these challenges. And it's not a challenge that is unique to taxation. Mm. It's a Nigerian problem. Yeah. Right? Because, really? Yes, it is. Yeah, I think so. It's the inefficiencies of our systems. It is the loopholes and gaps in our systems. The, the guys you talk about collecting money on the road, they're not, are they collecting for the government? They're collecting for the for union. Themselves. They're collecting for the union. So, again, first and foremost... Don't the good union remit to the government? How not? They, so they may, they do, well, I don't know. They Let do. me not say that they, I, I know, but what I mean is that if you want to argue it, right, you can say, oh, yes, that entire sector, they were not taxed before. It's a huge sector. Transportation is huge. huge sector, true. So we have plenty problems. What it is is that people have found ingenious and creative ways to collect the money, and that is what is causing the problem, right? So that's why I said that it comes back down to an inefficiency problem. From a general standpoint, we don't collect enough taxes. Calm down. We don't collect. No, I taxes, agree with you on that. Right? Honestly. Because today, our budget is largely funded by the proceeds from oil. Right? Mm -hmm. And the, the taxes that even matter, right, in terms of real, are the taxes from the big organizations the telcos, financial services, mm. those are the taxes that maybe even move the needle a little bit. But if we take, I'm not even going to talk about a lot of taxes, if we take personal income tax, payee, for example, which goes to the state, right? If I was to compare the percentages, let me not even talk about the amounts, because I think that um, aggregated, we start collecting, so... Uh, personal income tax, pay tax, right, is paid either if you're employed or if you're self-employed, you do self-declaration, right? Um, if you're doing that, let me use straightforward comparisons. If you, you were doing that in the UK, right, after your first, uh, I think the threshold is about £12,750 a year. So if you're earning that as gross, you wouldn't get taxed, taxed right? Mm -hmm. Once you cross over that threshold, any extra on it, yeah, then I believe twenty-five percent. It goes all the way up to forty percent, mm -hmm. or I think forty-five percent. Now, if I come to Nigeria, we start taxing at a much smaller threshold. But then, of course, our what's our minimum wage? Anything, right? anything, so, anything um, below fifty. 50,000 is not taxed. No, if your income is here. It's 300k. Annual. Okay, annual. Okay, okay, annual. Okay, annual. Okay, I'm talking about monthly though. No, mm -hmm. annual is 300k. Um, and then you go over that and then it's 7%. Mm -hmm. And then the max is 24%. Mm -hmm. So if you think about 24%, which if we're using direct comparison with the UK, mm -hmm. that's even within the first threshold, yeah. right? But if you take that amount and then you look at the people who work in the formal tech sector, so they are taxable, compared to the 200 plus million people that you have, we are barely scratching the surface. So when you take between this, the, 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 the threshold of 20 to 40 percent mm. in the UK, right? Like it or love it, that money is funding the NHS. Some people will argue the service in the NHS, yes, it has deteriorated <laughs> over the years, but that's not what we're talking about. But it is able to fund an entire health sector. It's able to fund the schools, right? Now, so when we talk see. about, hold on now, when we talk about the different taxes, I'm not even come to businesses, mm. but let me just stick with the humans, you know. When we talk about the different taxes, again, there are different taxes, right? 
you will pay VAT, you will pay personal income tax, you will pay your local council tax, mm -hmm. right? You will pay for TB license. Mm -hmm. You will TB pay. Radio. You will pay <laughs> TB license. I mean, I'm even counting the taxes you pay now mm. in the UK, mm. right? You will pay your council tax. You will pay TV and radio, your TV license, not TV and radio, but you pay your TV license, right? So there are multiple taxes paid in the same locality of this is me as an individual living here. Mm -hmm. Because these monies are required, yeah. right, to be able to run the country. Now, because we had this black gold that was paying for everything, over time we have not built efficient systems to collect. I mean, we have the inland revenue services, both local and fed, both state and federal. Do they collect tax in efficient ways? No. Why? Today, they still pour out plenty of stuff on the street. You see them when they are doing their drive in their T-shirts, going from shop to shop. Oh, it's the most inefficient way to collect tax. It's the same thing with the buses. The bus is registered, no? Every commercial vehicle, if you see their license plate, is red, no? So we know that you are commercial. But... We, why are we not collect? So that do you we see, collect taxes. Where I was so, that's, so that's why I'm trying to say that. I was going to say to you that even this informal sector that you're talking about, right? They are more taxed than you because so I the people that is selling bole by the junction here, mm -hmm. somebody comes to her every day. So, 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 that's 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 so that's why I'm saying that what you are now calling multiple taxation is now a creativity in the system of how I collect taxes because now we the populace first of all we don't want to pay taxes. Let's yes. be clear. Yeah. Now, the reason why we don't want to pay taxes, I'll use myself as an example. I don't believe anybody wants to part with 40% of their wages today so that my politician leader can mm -hmm. ride in a 230 million car. <laughs> right? So, I was what I'm to trying to say is that I'm trying to look at the holistic problem. Mm. That when we say people are taxed in multiple ways, yes, it's because everybody is... That radio license that you are being taxed on, right it's not an invalid thing but the point is does it have a national radio station that it is funding is nta running that it is funding mm, yeah. that's what that tax should be for if you are collecting a radio tv license tax it's to fund <laughs> the government-owned hmm. media houses mm. do we have them running today is that where that money is going so that's what i'm saying that i just want to position the conversation in the right way mm. That the multiple taxation for me is not the problem. Multiple taxes occur everywhere. Mm -hmm. It is the inefficiencies in the system. It is the lack of transparency in where the money, money is going. going. To, yeah. Today, how much do you pay to clear a car? All that money that customs is collecting. Mm -hmm. What is it doing? Mm. Have they built a new port? No. Okay. Have we, the road that was <laughs> built, was it <laughs> built by the customs service? <laughs> These are the questions. You know, I like to frame the question so that People's focus is in the right place. If I just say multiple taxes, it just seems like ah. Yeah, they want to collect our money. You know what I mean? <laughs> the taxes themselves. I like. Not I, I, I like where you're going. You know what? Let's take a, a very short break. I want to hear that Miss thought. Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we are discussing the impact of multiple taxation on businesses. Now, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 Dami, before I let you come in, I just want to touch small on what Uti said. <laughs> now, you see what you have said. Yes, you are channeling us in the right direction of the conversation. Yeah. No doubt. But I will tell you that the reason a lot of people don't want to pay taxes is because if I have provided my water, I have provided my electricity, I have provided you. every single thing, it will be difficult for me to say, okay, what exactly am I giving you the money for? That transparency is what is lacking. I remember that when Fashola wanted to drive personal income tax he tied it to housing right i am a be beneficiary of that housing i got a, a property i didn't know nobody because i was just a taxpayer because part of the criteria for you to be able to get those houses the lagos homes was that you needed to be a taxpayer do you understand? So you had I a tax like certificate. You now, now. So whenever you want to do something in government, what do they ask you for? Where's your tax clearance? Yes, sir. Even if you, mm -hmm. even if you are, you are involved in an accident tomorrow or Lasma arrests you, before you go and pay yeah. that uh, that fine, they will, you will show your tax clearance. But let me come to you, um, um, Dami. Well, I mean, I don't think I have anything different from what you both have said since. I mean, I agree with you, quite frankly, why people don't like to pay tax. Because I don't think I want to be giving anybody my money when they're just going to be buying the latest cars, wearing the latest outfits and stuff like that. But then again, coming back to um, the taxation for private schools, right? Like I read an article online. Um, I don't think that we can 
actually do with private schools because first of all how many government owned schools do we have that's one then number two even the government owned schools that we have how functional are they i don't think no offenses but i don't think anyone wants to deliberately send their words to a government especially when it's a primary and secondary i mean for the universities well almost <laughs> the, the majority actually go to federal universities or state-owned universities but for the um primary and secondary education how functional is the government owned schools so now if they are now if the taxes for private schools are now really high is it not going to be so discouraging for people to even own private schools and how can they even I don't know, maybe if the tax that they are, that is being collected from the private schools are used to enrich the um, public educational sector. I think it will make this conversation that we have now will make a whole lot of sense. But the fact that... Wait, let me send you. <laughs> let me, no, wait, now, let me send Because was it in Kenya, I was reading in Kenya. Do you know that they are begging people? To, private schools are shutting down. It's the complete opposite that is happening. Because That's nobody is saying. going to private schools because their government schools it's are good. so good. Exactly. Do you understand? But in Nigeria, monitor fund your private, your public school. No, no, we wow. don't say Uti, that. No, no. I, so, I don't think I agree with that. You see, we are coming to fight you with this <laughs> taxation thing, right? You see, this thing you are saying about they don't need tax money to fix our schools. Mm. They, so, what so is, is they don't. No. What money? So let me explain something to you. It is prioritizing things. It's just mm. like our healthcare sector. You don't need to say because it is the tax that I am paying that will fix our healthcare. Ah, uh -uh. Uti. Oh, no, no work. And you, you, are, you know what I'm saying? That. You know what I'm saying? That. These these are days. Days. Uti, no, do you know what I'm saying? No. The reason why you are saying that is because we have been running on oil money for as long as you have been alive. The fact is, in other same countries where they don't have oil, before we had oil, we were exporting cocoa, granite. We were exporting. Gra you yeah. packed it all in for oil. So now you are a one trick pony. Your favorite food is oil. All you want to eat is oil. Mm. The fact is, the people that don't have that particular thing, it is your taxes that funds all these things. So the fact is, over time, like I said, the problem for me is not the taxes. Over time, the inefficiencies, the corruption, the money the for going into of the funds. right. Thank you. Uti. Not going into the right areas. Uti, have you tried to 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 open a physical business store in this country? I it can be very. You know what I'm saying this. You know what I'm saying this. You already know as a government that these people are the ones that are even helping your economy. Do you know that eighty percent of employment right now? Are by small businesses, small business owners. So you cannot go there and be the government has not even employed the amount of people that they are actually supposed to employ. <laughs> As I am like this, every <laughs> member of my staff is paying taxes. There's a personal income tax that is deducted from their income already. We are paying. Uh, what's it called? Um, we are having to pay our own electricity, pay this, pay that, pay whatever. So whatever it is that you are doing as you a are... government. You must first of all cut off this thing. Yeah. Sis the system should be transparent. Let me tell you something. I am happy to pay a tax. But when I feel like this is daylight robbery, somebody is just coming to collect money that I know will not get into the government coffers. That's they may solve the problem. problem. And that's why I said that be clear on what your problem is. Yeah. It was clear. Mm. The taxes, you just said it. If I knew problem. that my taxes were going where they should go, I would happily pay them. The taxes are not the problem. Now, first and foremost, let's take the 200 and something million people that we have in this country. Mm. Hmm? Let us now ask ourselves, what percentage of those people are paying tax? Don't use yourself as a benchmark. Because in truth, if you, if you count the 200, how many hundreds of thousands of small businesses that we have in this country, not all of them are paying tax for mm. starters yeah true let's not use lagos let's not use potakot or abuja true. a great many percentage of this country right are not paying the taxes in the way that they should be mm. they can tax you multiply they can walk up into your business in lagos and do that mm. how many country how many places even if you take state by state outside of the state capital what do you mean mm. so my point is you you have to think about what it takes to collectively run a nation I know taxes so, are the drivers of any so, nation. Yeah. So it is the monies that are there is a hole. You are using something else to fill that hole right now mm. that your taxes are supposed to fill. So again, I say it: the different taxes we are paying, they are all valid taxes. 
The problem is where the money is going. The problem is that you are looking for tax breaks for small businesses because they are contributing to the economy. Those are separate conversations mm. outside of are the taxes that are being collected right now correct taxes. Like I said, I can go and fight and say, yes, okay, there's a law for example. It's like stamp duty. Why? What am I stamping? <laughs> Why? But it is an act. What is it? What am I stamping? So that's what I'm saying. That it is an act that says the money must be collect collected. Yes. Why? Right. When was the last time you saw a stamp? Then the question will be asked. So my point is, and that's why I'm saying that the conversation needs to go to where the problems are. Mm. Yeah. The tax that I am paying, mm. the act behind it or the regulation behind it, is it still valid? Should we still be collecting this money? No. Should we repeal the act? Should we, do, should we look at it? That's a different conversation. So how do we solve this problem? The, the inefficiencies in, okay, I should do payee, I should do... Some states, it's all, you know, up and running and all of that. These are the things that I want to address. Not the fact that I'm paying too many taxes. Do you mm. know what I mean? That's where I'm saying... Because in, pain, in multiple taxation, it happens everywhere yeah. around the world, yeah. right? Yeah. But it is the, it is the channeling. Where and the collection. Yes. Do you understand? Because you see, the reason why I think a lot of people are angry when it comes to multiple taxation, especially with businesses, is because it is highly um, what's it called? Unofficial. Most of the collections, they are not, they are not, they are not on any record. Do you know that when they come into my business space, for instance, and I demand that I need the bank teller to go and pay it, they get upset. Yeah. Of course. Do you understand? <laughs> because that money, there was a particular man, he will come, harass everybody, yeah. you know. Because that money, once you tell him, give me the bank teller, I will send my staff to the bank to go and pay. They are already upset. To the point that some of these guys have even gone to open bank accounts. So now, these, so, are, the, these are the problems these are the that issues, you need to target. Yeah. And let me tell you why it's even more important. Now, when the money that should get to the government doesn't get to the government, right? Because of all these things that you have mentioned. The day the leadership of that government sits around the table and says... We need money to run the state. Money is not coming in. If you anywhere you watch, even if you watch olden days movies, when the kings and queens were running mm, things, taxes. Once there's no money, they say, go out, yeah. go to the villages, collect our taxes. They increase taxes. So when those people sit around the table and say, ah, we need one billion to run the country, but it's only hundred million that came in today. We need ideas. How do we come up with more mm. money? How do we? they start creating interesting taxes? Mm. Let me take Lagos State case in point. I already pay VAT. Have you? Value added tax mm -hmm. on goods and services. Mm -hmm. But in Lagos, if you go and sit down somewhere to eat, what are you going to pay in you addition? You pay in a absorption tax. tax. Yes, tax. So you will pay for the food. You're going to pay the 7.5 percent. Outside is expensive. And now. then you're going to pay the consumption tax. And then you're going to pay the consumption, consumption tax. tax yes. Now, if in efficiency we were collecting our monies, Lagos State was getting all the money. Would you need to create a new consumption tax? Mm -mm. That's where those multiple problems start to come from, and it's still driven by the fact that so the money so that so, go to so the it's, it will still boil back problem. to the government. You know why I'm saying that? Because let me tell you something. Yes, we might say that largely the collection is so unofficial that a lot of those income don't get into government coffers. But what did you want with the enter government coffers? What did you mean? Remember, I said that that's, that's the problem, problem actually. So there's those inefficiencies as well, yeah. right? I remember, I think it was some point when they were announcing ministers, and I was counting that that's 48 ministers, which is 96 vehicles. No, sorry, it wasn't 96. Um, four vehicles per. So that's 100 and what was it now? I think it was 100 and something. Wow. My math is not right. The people that left those offices, where are the cars they were using? So maybe you've left the office. Leave the car now. Leave the car. They don't normally <laughs> leave the don't car. Leave but that's my point, right? So they will tell you that there is just inside that car. I cannot drive <laughs> it. Have you not seen a governor? He took water dispenser, cleared up the entire house, like emptied the house. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, does it make sense? And these things, we look at it and we laugh over it, we gloss over it. But it is actually very, very sad because now. I mean, it's just like Obama leaving White House and emptying the White, the White House. House. Come on. It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? If we continue like that, the people that will suffer in the end, it is you and I. It is because, because now, if schools are complaining that they are giving them multiple taxations, they would have to increase the school fees to be able to pay those taxes. If, if businesses are complaining that they are giving them multiple taxations, uh, gelato that you went to buy for me today, <laughs> ice 
cream. <laughs> seven thousand. How much they sell? Seven thousand five hundred. I said, I said, I said, I said ha. Why? Did you, why did you pay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to buy ice cream and brownie. I spent seven thousand five hundred naira. I had to finish every last you drop of that soup and <laughs> liquor. Like the literally the spoon at the plate to be shiny. I'm telling you. <laughs> so, I, so I get you, right, Uti? I understand you, and in all honesty, that's the higher place to take the conversation mm. to. But what I'm saying is that, well, but what, what I'm asking is, it possible that we 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 temper these multiple taxations a bit and channel it okay, well? So you know why I'm saying this. As a small business, I'm already paying my staff. I mean, so I, we're already paying payee, making sure that every member of staff is being paid. I mean, it's paying the payee yes. staff um, taxes. Then you tell me to pay what's it called the CAC. You remember CAC did something recently that they were shutting down all the register. So regist mm -hmm. registration and all of that. If you if you are not uh, if you don't update or something, yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Your tax the, yeah and that yeah. tax are needed for you to go and if you have not paid, you have to go and update your tax record. So a lot of businesses that was a creative way. You know to trap the money so let me not have anybody coming to knock on my door so cac is already a platform you. do you understand if you want to tax me maybe an annual income tax it so that we can also follow the money the reason the government will give you the excuse that they don't know how to they, they, they cannot channel it to say this is what the project the, the money is going to is because they too they deliberately leave the system not to work mm. they like the idea that the 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 tax sector is so informal so that is the only way to they would benefit from it, the, the corruption. So let us solve the problem. Create CAC in a way that CAC collects taxes annually. We already have the VAT system. Yeah. I am paying VAT, I'm paying, I'm, you understand? I mean, so create great, it. But then you probably have more businesses not registered. Not registered, registered actually. So how do they trap those kind but of money? Again, so but you can't open a bank account and you can't do anything transactional, a lot of that, if you don't have a registered business. Not necessarily. I can Maybe use my personal, personal account. Do you know how many people use personal accounts for, for businesses? businesses? Yeah. So again, you <laughs> okay. know, I left my case. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we, we're, we're pretty much out of time. I'm sure. <laughs> we're out of time. We're out of time. I left my case. I don't oh. talk again. Oh my goodness. But me, she is pinning me. Let me just yeah, it. It is actually. It is. Oh, they come and knock. They don't give have me the radio, radio this thing. They'll give you this one. This one is this one. This one is that one. It's too much. No. It's too much no. because the businesses are the ones that is helping the economy. So try as much as possible to make it a bit easy for them. Mm. If you want to tax us, just tax us one, one amount for the... We know that, okay, this is what we are paying for the end. We, we close it out. This way. Well. <laughs> that's not... <laughs> and not talk again. Thank oh you, Uti. Thank you, Dami. Thank Before you. we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles and interact with us further. Drop your comments and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. If you missed our quote for today, here it is again. Our Babatunde Fashola said, Before we increase taxes, we must optimize the capacity to get that which is in it in the place. So, we we'll look for what is in the place. <laughs> we'll see you on Monday at 8 p.m. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>